So Jailbreak got the uh, live event this past weekend and they added in something around this side of the map. Uh, the mountains look a little different and it kind of looks a little sussy over here. You, you, I don't even need to trace it. You guys can probably see the sus. Get out of my head. Anyway, how do you rob the casino has been on literally everybody's mind. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to rob the casino. I guess uh, we'll do that first. Then we'll go explore the map or something. But in case you guys haven't seen already, Casino is uh, somewhere right over here. Yes, indeed, Casino is literally right in front of me, right over this way. It is the, uh, you know, nightclub casino. A small store just opened, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll go ahead and come over here, rob the casino. Okay, so let's go ahead and, uh, you know, just run on here into the casino. Somebody got lightning zapped over here. But uh, let's see here. There's supposed to be a code along the walls. All right, there's not monkeys on the walls. There's a code. Okay, so yeah, don't, don't worry that there's uh, monkeys on the walls. There isn't any monkeys, at least not that I'm aware of. So we just have to look around here uh, for some little funny numbers, okay? Three, four digits, something like that. Not on the back of your mom's credit card, but you see over here, we got this number. Uh, it's uh, 6254, okay? We're gonna go to write that in chat in the team chat so that we know what it is. If we give it to the cops, the cops uh, are able to enter. So don't give it to the cops. Unless you like getting camp, which I don't. And I, uh, also, there's no cops in this server. It's a VIP. So, 6, 2, 5, 4. Now he says search around the room. Before, it was just empty. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go inside the casino here. Now, once you go in here, there's an elevator. And then you want to go to security, okay? Because uh, the only logical place you really go to is a security room. And then we uh, come on around this way. And there's going to be a bunch of computers. And we want to go ahead and go... Oh, okay, that was easy. So, we just make that one turn, uh, you know, green. And then we uh, go back around here. If you set off the alarms now, if you touch it, it's like the museum. You'll, uh, you know, be uh, activating the uh, police alert. You go in the elevator and you click the vaults. Uh, we go back on down here. Now we're in the vaults and that vault over there is a little bit deceiving. You want to go over here on the edge and do this. All right. Yeah, that's what you got to do. And now we can go ahead and just uh, jump around here. And uh, it should be fairly quick and easy now. Uh, we just run on over here. I believe we have like three minutes total in order to uh, rob this vault. Now, this is a tricky one. I see a lot of people get stuck on here. And all you do is it's a uh, combination lock. You wait for it to turn green and you press E. You do that three times and you should be able to get in. All right. Uh, someone entered casino to help. And we'll go ahead and come on over here and rob some monies. All right. And now we just... Uh... Right, he set off the... Uh... Hey, what the heck, man? Now the police are gonna get notified, even though there's no cops in here, but who cares? I don't like it when police get notified. Who does? But anyway, the maximum money you get is 8,000 here, which is pretty good. And considering that this opens just as about as frequently as the bank and jewelry store, it's probably one of the best robbers in the game, all right? Uh, probably second only to, like, museum or maybe cargo boat. But cargo boat takes literally forever to come in here, so... Per unit of time, this gives you a stupid amount of money. But yeah, once we get uh, all this uh, stuff, we can go ahead, you know, come on over here, zap it again. And now you have the option of either going out through ground or going out through the roof. Now, a lot of cops will camp at the ground. So what you do is you go to the roof. <laughs> and you'll see why. Okay, we're going to go to go to the roof. And we're immediately going to uh, find somewhere around here. I think that side also works. Uh, people land the, you know, their helicopters up here all the time. We can go ahead and run all the way over here. And I believe my uh, helicopter's down here. So we're going to go ahead and just yeet ourselves off the side of the building and grab the helicopter. Okay, that, that's quick and easy. You want to take your bag to the uh, volcano base, which is like way over here. You see where the train goes. The new train tunnels by the volcano base. So yeah, we go over here to volcano base and we'll turn this thing in. And uh, yeah, so we can go in and just fly our helicopter and get free easy money. And that's basically how you rob the casino. So let's go in and take a look around the map now and find, uh, you know, a whole bunch of new features. So I believe one of the big changes, or it's not even like terribly big, well, depending on who you are, jetpack got moved. It's like, if you go to the uh, cliff over there, probably should have gone over there first. It's like kind of missing all right so i believe they moved the jetpack to one of these buildings up here yeah it appears to be this one over here there is the jetpack right here because okay, so you gotta fly over here and then you can you know just fly the jetpack as usual so i don't think it's over by the uh, power plant again okay so we can go ahead and fly over to power plant but you look at the blips it used to be the power plant was like right there why is it now all of a sudden by bank and jewelry store 
That's a little interesting. I think power play might have gone move. And yeah, power play used to be over here along the middle road. Okay, but the middle road, I think the tunnel still exists. And if you go straight, yeah, there's no power plant here. Power plant literally got yeeted over here. Like they freaking dug it all out and just plopped it right there somehow. I don't know how, but yeah, weird stuff happened. There's a new museum. And you come on over here to where the jetpack island should be, right? Jetpack island, we all know and love. It's like right around here. Hey, why is it a wind turbine? Bruh, where'd the jetpack go? Yeah, see, the old jetpack thing is gone, all right? Literally, like, just got eroded, so they moved the jetpack over there. And power plant also got moved, like, way over here. I think it's still the same on the inside, so you don't really gotta worry about that. Uh, yeah, not that it really matters for people that, uh, you know, don't even play this game anymore because they all oof in here. But anyway, everything else, uh, ooh, cargo plane. Speaking of cargo plane, I think the airport got changed. Yeah, the airport looks a little different now. I don't know if the cargo plane flies to the new airport over there. But yeah, if you look on the mini map, there's like a new airport here. There's a racetrack. There's Crater City. And then there's Among Us. All right. It literally is the sussiest thing ever. It's so sus, man. I swear, Asimo is the very, very sus developer. Because why else would he make it in the shape of a sus? Only if he was sus himself. So uh, yeah, I think plane still lands here. Bro, this... Uh... <laughs> Wing barely touches the hangar. It literally goes above it. Like, holy crap. This this thing is tiny. It's so close to buzzing the tower. But yeah. Does it still take off of, like, just this little bit of runway? Of course it does. Yeah, it 100% takes off of, like, this little bit of runway, okay? It does, like... I don't even know how much, like, G that is. But it just takes off stupidly fast. Anyway, I think train spawns are moved. So, like, it takes longer for them to uh, get out of the map. Uh, yeah. This one, I think, is still the same over here. But the one on the other side, you see the train tunnel no longer ends right there. It just keeps on going, going all the way around here until you hit the lighthouse and the criminal base. Here's where the train goes, and here's the criminal base. Speaking of criminal base, I think you might have seen a little glimpse of it, but a lot of this thing has changed. It's like deeper inside the mountain, police can enter through the gates now, and uh, what's this red uh, UFO doing here? The escape here is also different. It doesn't go left anymore. It goes right. And instead of, you know, going straight, it does, like, a whole, like, 270-degree turn or something stupid like that. Before, you know, coming all the way over here, and boom. Yeah. It does a whole whopping 270 degrees or something like that. Casino's still closed, because otherwise I would rob it again. But, yeah, I, you know what? We probably could rob the casino again. It's a pretty fun robbery. I think it's literally the only robbery that everyone does now. And also the track is here, but I don't think there's a timer, so... Yeah, there's that. I wonder if the cargo plane stays in the air for longer. Because it probably does, considering the, the map expansions here. So normally it would end, like, around here. But yeah, it's still flying. So cargo plane does actually fly for longer. So you have more time to rob that thing, okay? Uh, yeah, it's gonna keep on going. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna go somewhere. I think it just now exited the perimeter of the map. Okay, yeah, it looks like it just did. The cargo plane literally takes freaking forever to uh, get out of the world now. So going back to Casino here, it used to be a uh, way I think you could like jam vehicles there. But now, uh, oh, it just opened. Yeah, you can't use vehicles here now. So good job as people for passion that so that people can't just like lock people in the casino. So the numbers, they do change depending on, you know, which time. I think uh, he might have made it easier so it always spawns here. But it's now 4425. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write down... Uh, 4425 in the chat, but it gets hashtag. What the heck, man? Bruh, it can't even type in codes. 4425. It probably spawns there all the time now. It used to spawn, uh, somewhere, uh, different. Wait, hold up. Wait, what? Is it not that? Did it change? Unless one of those fours is a nine. It, oh, it's a nine four. Yeah, they look very similar. The font's not the greatest. So it's nine four two five. There we go. Okay, yeah, the fours and the nines look way too much like the same. So we're going to go ahead now, go to security. The computer in here is going to be random and uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, jump our way through here. Go ba -doop, ba -doop, and you know, just go run across. Oh, it's this one now. Okay, there's that. We uh, deactivate the security. And now is when the finite amount... Oh, crap. We activated it. Oh, dang it, man. Now the cops are going to be coming. The non-existent police officer. All right, so we go to the vaults now, and we do the exact same thing as we did before. Because in the vaults, it's the same. Come on, go in the vaults already. The elevator sometimes does funny, sussy things like that. Probably because it's the head of the Among Us. But yeah, we go ahead and just uh, run on over here. This is quick and easy. 
uh, you hear the beeping from the vault. It's like, you know, gonna blow up and then like, once the time gets elapsed, I think everyone just oops in here. So yeah, there's a giant sleepy laser, which is a security that you have to deactivate. It goes and, you know, everybody gets zapperonied. So here's this, okay? We wait for it to turn green. Then we wait for it to turn green. And here we go again. It is now open. So of course, we're gonna go over here and grab the uh, crown. Okay, Clash Royale King is now mad that we stole his crown. But yeah, we go ahead and just rob this entire uh, big stacks here. Okay, all these monies is mine. Those vaults on the sides, the same way of opening them as the main vault. And I believe there's also some vaults where you can like grab the money through the uh, wall. So yeah, you see there's two minutes, some odd seconds left. And we're gonna go and just uh, make a run for it here. Two minutes is plenty fast. So uh, you know, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, casually just walk through here. And uh, we're gonna go up towards the uh, roof again. Or I could go through the ground. But going through the ground, you have to do with the lasers. Going through the roof, you really don't. I'm gonna go ahead and use the elevator. And we're gonna go to the roof. Okay, because there shouldn't be any campers up on the roof. If campers do get on a roof, then they probably are doing a little interesting stuff. Anyway, here's the roof. So run on over here. And I think our helicopter uh, might have gotten jammed in there. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves the roadster. And off. And away we go. Yeah, the thing is still gonna sound for another 2 minutes and 19 some odd seconds. But yeah, we go on all the way over here to the criminal base, which is like right on this way. And we just ram the sucker inside and get ourselves juicy, juicy, juicy money. There we go. So yeah, I guess uh, that'll go ahead and wrap it up here for a new update. How do you rob the uh, casino? Okay, yeah, it's pretty easy now once you uh, do the stuff. And uh, hopefully you don't go oof in there. It's surprisingly hard to oof in there, actually. And uh, yeah, so don't go oof in there. Good luck robbing it. And, uh, and uh, yeah, use code BACON when you buy Robux or Premium. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.